Thank you so much for um, coming today so we can interview you for the STEM career field. Can you tell us a little bit about um, the field, the technology side of it in general? What kind of jobs are available as far as technology goes? Well, <clears throat> I work in the computer industry and uh, my job is more, I work for the Army and <clears throat> I work at the Armed Forces Staff College. And my job is desktop support, which is the hardware, and also I'm in charge of cybersecurity. And right now, that, <clears throat> that is a, a leading industry in the technology field, is to be involved in uh, cybersecurity, network security, uh, because of all of the hacking that's been going on, and network access, uh, proliferation or access uh, hacking, People's personal information, PII. Um, so that's a big that's a big industry right now is, uh, is cybersecurity or network security. What exactly do you get to do on a day-to-day -day basis for your job? And my job is to make sure that 94 classrooms uh, have the capability to be accessed. The computers are able to access be accessed. Uh, all of the peripheral equipment that includes plasma screens and BTCs and oh, there's there's a lot of automation that goes on in the classroom, and then not only do I have to work with the students, but I also have to work with the staff, the faculty, or the, uh, to ensure that they have network access and that their computers are safe, and that their information is not being accessed. As well as the students, we have plagiarism software programs. We've got um, spillage; people put information on the computer that's not supposed to be there. Uh, just making sure that everyone has network access. So every day people call up the help desk. It goes to several tiers. The first level tier, they go out and check it to see if, what the systems are doing. If they can't fix it, then it gets escalated to me. And I go in as more of an engineer, an expert in the industry, and try and work out what the problems. From, like I said, from the computers to switches, network access, you name it. What is special about your job? What makes me special, I've been in the industry for a long time, and I'm kind of the go-to guy for any kind of job that comes up. Uh, don't wash toilets anymore, but certainly any type of project that needs to come up if they just need extra staffing, or if they have a problem that can't be resolved, I'll take a look at it, make changes, and still be able to get quality, uh, type quality access to the networks and computers and the resources that the students need. My job is several functions, any type of function that they have. Why did you choose this career? Kind of just hop, fell into it. Uh, I started years ago in another company, uh, making websites and playing with computers and loading software. And I spent so much time online with the help desks that uh, I got pretty good at it. And uh, I had a career change and I put in a, a resume with the Army and got the position and since then I've kind of just gone up the ranks. The best type of job security you can have is really doing your job the best you can do. Taking on as many type projects, even if they're not inside your lane, in other words, you may not deal with video. As a computer technician, most technicians know about computers. They come out of school, you know, they get computer sciences. They don't even hardly touch a computer. If you want to get into this industry, you really want to play around and take as many projects as you possibly can to learn about different aspects because there's so much to it. Uh, so I would say that if you want to do your job the best, stay motivated, be motivated to learn, and take opportunities that might be beyond your scope. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to try something new. And then you become needed. <laughs> what qualifications as far as education do you need for this career field? Well, I will tell you, in this industry, uh, primarily with the government, certifications are huge. So having an education is important, but also continuing education uh, every year. Uh, we have uh, Certifications we've got to have uh, renewed. Um, 
There's new operating systems that come out. There's uh, changes in the network, cybersecurity. I mean, you name it. There's a lot to learn. It's never boring. So education is, <clears throat> is very big. If computers change on a regular basis, surely your education is going to have to change. You're going to have to grow. You have to take it. It's continuing throughout your career. Or where does a person in general get the education? Or well, college is, is, is a good place to go. Um, it gives you a whole lot of uh, uh, studies and programming and networks and computer hardware and, and you, know, you get a, you get a, a pretty broad base. Um, when you get out into the real world, you're going to start to see that you're going to see those systems and those that industry is kind of broken up. You've got the networking people, you've got the desktop people, you've got... Well, well college is important. It's very important. What would you major in if you do... Computer, computer sciences, programming. It just really depends on what you... You know, software development. Um, I would say that computer... Uh, getting education in college is a great place to start. It gets you in the door. It gets you into... Uh, because you've got a, uh, a higher level of learning and you understand maybe all the components of what's going on inside uh, inside the networks and the computers. But continuing education is paid for, at least on our side, by the government as long as you work for the government. If you're a contractor, um, some of that's paid by the Army, some of it's paid by the contracting company. But I will tell you, it's, it's, it's not, it, it's a great investment. Any money that you put into your education, continuing education, in the computer industry, it, it, it will pay for itself over and over again. What should a person look for when trying to find a job that best fits them in the technology industry? If you're interested in the networking side, the hardware side, really you just want to kind of get a good foot in the door. You're going to find that, it's, it's been my experience, that as you work within a, an organization, uh, you're going to be an expert in, in one field. And yes, you can stay in that field and still progress, but let's say networking, but there are other, there's so many aspects to the, the technology side of it that there's a lot of places you can go to. So you can kind of move around a little bit, which gives you opportunity. So if you do great one job and you want to move into something else, you go to that place, you usually maybe pay you a little bit more money, continue education, you move again, or within your own organization, from department to department, or uh, yeah, department to department. You have your networking side, you have your desktop support side, you've got cybersecurity, cyber security. You know, there's, there's, there's many aspects to, to doing the uh, IT, there really is. Of course, there's other industries, hospital industries, there's the government, there's uh, businesses, manufacturing, I mean, it's everywhere. Uh, it's, it's a good job. It, it, it really is. Um, what did you do to become successful in obtaining this? I worked hard. I'll tell you what I did. Stay motivated, willingness to work, and a willingness to, to learn. And with those things, uh, you're going to progress uh, and, to, and to do something new. But if you stay motivated, you're willing to work, you're willing to learn, you will, you will be very, very successful in this industry. Um, if you stagnate, you still have a job, but you're just not going to progress maybe like the way you want to. Do you have any um, last minute tips or any other information for a hopeful um, professional in the technology industry? Tips. I would say that if you're going to get a job coming out of uh, college, one of the best ways to get a job is, though the college is, is very important, getting your certifications will get you a foot in the door in many places. So whether it be Cisco or Microsoft or, or any other, if you have some type of a certification, and really what you want to do is go out there and research what the industries, what, uh, what uh, parts or segments of the technology world are, are doing extremely well. Get your certifications in that. Get your feet wet, jump into it. Um, but that'll definitely get you a foot in the door if you've got your certifications. 
there um, we hire many times people that come in that don't have the certifications because we need them and then we give them a you know maybe a six month period of time to get the certifications it puts a little pressure on you whereas if you're going to school I would I would highly recommend while you're going to school not only do your school work but see if you can augment that by doing some CE, some continuing education or some type of certification any type of security any type of operating system, the newest operating system, those will get you. Uh, those will get you placement. And then uh, break it up in a computer. You know, a lot of people that graduate from school, uh, it's hard to believe. Many of them haven't seen the inside of a computer. Break one open, learn what they do. That will also get you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.